Welcome back. Today, I am talking about my men's athletes of the year. I'm going to be giving my top 10 athletes on the sprints, jumps, and hurdle side for the 2024 track and field season. Again, sprints, jumps, hurdles, so you won't see names like Emmanuel Wagnoni, you won't see Jakob Ingebrigtsen, even Alekna and Discus Throw, right? Shout out to all of them, but going to be focusing on the sprints, jumps, and hurdles. One thing to a note that I did speak about in the women's, you know, athletes of the year, this, of course, is my personal opinion. I would love to see your top 10s. I would love to see your top fives or top threes. Go in the comments. Let me know who you have. This is just my opinion based on some criteria criteria that I have based on the entire year. So let's just jump right into it. Number 10, I have Matthew Hudson Smith in the 400 meters. Now, this was a little bit tricky because I do think he's kind of close with, you know, another athlete who definitely, of course, is ahead of him. But Hudson Smith, Olympic silver medal in the 400 meter dash, personal best of 43.44 seconds, which is number two time in the world this year, but also ranks him number five all time in the men's 400 meter dash. On top of that, he has two of the top Top three performances throughout the year and he has three performances under the 44 second barrier and he has won four out of the eight races that he contested all throughout 2024 which includes a good amount of diamond league races but huge shout out to matthew Hudson smith that's my number 10 for the year coming up at number nine another athlete who also got a silver medal kenny benarik from the united states 200 and 100 meter dash this was an amazing season for kenny this year 200 meter silver medal at the olympic games he also was the diamond league champion in the 200 as well actually beating out let's see the in that race he set a personal best a couple times throughout the year but ended off the season with a best of 19.57 seconds which ranks him as number three in the world this year but also moved him up to number eight all time in the 200 meter dash and he has five of the top nine 200 meter performances all throughout 2024 massive performance for kenny b and he's won four out of his eight competitions and in the 100 meters personal best of 9.87 seconds which moved him up to number 11 all time he won two out of the 400 meter races the, that he competed in this year also he finished seventh place in that 100 meter olympic final so combined with his 100 and 200 meter accolades i put kenny b at my number nine for 2024 but moving on up number eight this one was kind of challenging for me i'm gonna be completely honest very challenging but Quincy Hall, arguably one of my favorite athletes of, I don't know, the past three, four years, right? Quincy Hall has been on the rise, but I put him at number eight, Olympic gold medalist in the 400 meter dash, literally coming from what, fifth, sixth place, you know, with about a hundred meters to go to grab that gold medal personal best and world lead of 43.40 seconds, which moved him up to number four all time in the 400 meters, right? Wade Van Niekerk, Michael Johnson, Butch Reynolds, and now Quincy Hall in the 400. He also had three of the top 10 times in 2024, those three times were all sub 44 performances. And in total, he won four out of the seven races that he contested. So really because he didn't have as strong of an early season. And then of course, after the Olympics, he shut things down. That's why I had to put him at my number eight, but huge shout outs to Quincy Hall for the season that he put together all throughout 2024. But moving up to number seven, dipping into those field events, I have Hamish Kerr from New Zealand. He comes out for my number seven, Olympic champion in the high jump, world indoor champion in the high jump, personal best and season's best of 2.36 meters in the high jump, makes him number two in the world this year, right? Tambiri had the world lead for 2024, but that did move him up to number 24 all time. So again, not, you know, super far up all time, but this was a really, really strong performance. And he had two of the top three jumps all throughout 2024. So the number two and the number three jump in the high jump for the year. He also won 10 out of the 13 competitions that he was in this year. So the consistency Consistency was really off the charts all throughout the year. And then, of course, he won the two biggest competitions, the Olympic Games and the World Indoor Championship. So Hamish Kerr from New Zealand, he comes in at my number seven. Still in the field events, though, Miltadis Tentaglou from Greece. Now, he's been on a run, a complete tear since, what, the last Olympic Games? Defended his Olympic title in Paris this year. He also got the World Indoor Championship gold medal, you know, in Glasgow earlier in March. So huge performances back-to-back -back at the two big biggest competitions. Also had the world lead, 8.65 meters. That moved him to number 14 all time in the long jump. So I know people like to say that the long jump isn't doing that well. Tentaglou, he's kind of creeping back up. Not saying he's breaking any records, but he has been doing pretty well. 
he also had the top two jumps of the 2024 season so this actually gave me a little bit of the edge for Tentaglu over Hamish Kerr because Tentaglu had the world lead and the number two performance at 8.48 um, meters but also he won 12 out of his 15 competitions so like I said the two biggest competitions the Olympic Games as well as the World Indoor Championships Tentaglu comes in at my number six but before we get into the top five let's dive in and talk about some of these honorable mentions who didn't make my top 10 but definitely deserve some recognition first off Jordan Diaz Fortun in the triple jump Olympic champion in that triple jump really strong consistent year in the high jump Shelby McEwen from the United States Olympic and world indoor silver medalist in the high jump huge shout out to McEwen and everything he did this year Muzala Samukonga in the 400 Olympic bronze medal in the 400 ran sub 44 seconds on two occasions throughout the year Wayne Pinnock from Jamaica in the long jump silver medalist in the long jump to back up his world championship silver medal from last year Sam Kendricks in the pole vault Olympic and world indoor silver medalist all behind Mondo Duplantis in 2024 so huge shout out to the guys the honorable mentions they really put up some great marks and very likely they could be on your top 10 list let me know in the comments below but let's dive in and get into this top five coming in at number five this is where it gets a little tricky but rye benjamin from the united states 400 meter hurdles he competed relatively sparingly throughout the year but he did it when it mattered most olympic games gold medal beating out karsten warholm and allison dos santos also he got the olympic gold medal in the four by four setting that olympic record with all the other guys from the united states holding off botswana in that legendary race but look at the times 46.46 seconds which is a world leading performance and he had four of the top five performances throughout 2024 46.46 on two occasions 46.64 and 46.67 the consistency was unmatched for rye benjamin undefeated in all four of his 400 meter hurdle races so like i said didn't compete very frequently he did have one flat 400 meter race which he also did win early in the season but the cherry on top the four by four split of 43.18 seconds which is the equal seventh fastest ever four by four split in history of course it's another guy you know ahead of the list who does have a faster split but huge shout out to rye benjamin coming in at my number five now let's get to this top four this is where things in my opinion get very very controversial but i'm gonna stick with it i went back and forth back and forth number four i have noah lyles at number four this is this was really tough because i really think that noah lyles had an immaculate season considering everything he did from indoors to outdoors but he comes in at my number four olympic 100 meter champion over a very stacked field in arguably the deepest 100 meter race that we've ever seen in history winning over kashane thompson by just what uh five thousandths of a second or whatever it was olympic 200 meter bronze medal behind let's see the boho as well as behind kenny banarik and then he also got the silver medal indoors in the 60 meter dash in glasgow behind christian coleman so three medals across the 2024 season 100 meter personal best of 9.79 seconds number two in the world so not the world leading performance and that made him number 12 all time in the 100. he also has two of the top six times in the 100 meter dash this year 200 meters again got the bronze medal season's best of 19.53 seconds which also is number two in the world so didn't have the world lead but he also had two of the top 10 performances in the 200 throughout the year finally 60 meter dash 6.43 seconds again number two in the world this year so you can kind of see the trend and why i kind of put noah laws at number four but he did also have three of the top six times in the 60 meter dash and that 6.43 moved him up to number 10 all time in the event so because of what he was able to do both indoors as well as outdoors didn't have those world leads so i think that did kind of set him back just slightly for me but no allows immaculate season in the 100 200 and the 60 meters coming in at my number four but let's get to these top three <laughs> man again this is going to be controversial uh, number three one of my favorite athletes let's see the boho i have him at number three for the 2024 season i'm gonna be honest i was splitting hairs here so don't come at me go in the comments you feel free to come at me i don't care but let's see the boho from botswana in the 100 in the 200 and a couple other accolades as well first off olympic gold medal in that 200 meter dash running a best of 19.46 seconds clocks him at number five all time in the event of course was the world leading performance as well and he ran three of the top seven performances in the 200 this year and he won 
seven out of his nine competitions, right? Did lose a Diamond League and also lost to Courtney Lindsay at the Kip Kano Classic early in the season. So did have some losses in the 200, but of course he was the best 200 meter runner all throughout 2024. He also got the Olympic silver medal in the four x four with that immaculate split. 43.04 seconds is the second fastest split in the history of the 4x4, only behind Michael Johnson, who ran 42.9 seconds all the way back in 1993. So listen, let's see if the Boho really dominated all throughout the year. 100 meters, personal best of 9.86 seconds, which is number eight in the world this year. And he won three out of the 700 meter races. So didn't have, you know, the greatest, you know, accomplishments when talking about the 100, but the 400, 44.29 seconds, which is number 15 in the world in 2024. But then to cap it all off, the 300 meters early in the season, 30.69 seconds to break the world record in the event. Listen, between all that he was able to do in the 200, the 100, the 400, the 300, the 4x4, let's see the Boho, he comes in at my number three. Again, I was splitting hairs here, I think just because of some of those losses, that really is what set it back, but let's move up. A couple other guys who did break some world records, Go ahead, you can criticize me, but I got Grant Holloway as number two in the world for 2024. Listen, Olympic champion in the 100 meter hurdles, world indoor champion in the 60 meter hurdles, right? Broke the world record indoors. We'll get to that. But 100 meter hurdles, 12.86 seconds. Of course, that's a world leading performance, but that's also the fourth fastest time, fourth fastest time in the history of the 100 meter hurdles. On top of that, he had nine of the top 11 performances in the hurdles this year. Listen, Grant Holloway was unmatched. 12.86, 12.92, 12.96. The consistency was off the chain. Finally, to cap off his outdoor season, he ended up having the most sub 13 performances of any hurdler in the history of the 110 meter hurdles. Grant Holloway arguably put himself into the GOAT conversation if he already wasn't there. But indoors, like I noted, world indoor champion in the 60 meter hurdles, he broke the world record indoors. He went undefeated indoors in the 60 meter hurdles as well. He had the top eight performances all, you know, all throughout the 2024 season in the 60 meter hurdles. Listen, I know that people might downplay what Grant Holloway has done, but his 2024 season is one for the history books. Grant Holloway, 60 meter hurdles, 110 meter hurdles. He comes in at my number two for the 2024 season. And of course, I think you can all predict it mondo duplantis men's pole vault he absolutely dominated the 2024 season and of course is the number one olympic champion world indoor champion diamond league champion he broke the world record on three occasions throughout the 2024 season right 6.24 6.25 and then 6.26 meters at the Cilicia diamond league to cap things off listen all throughout the year i think he had the top nine jumps you know throughout 2024 and that might not even include some of the ancillary jumps right and route to all his you know finishing jumps those winning uh jumps but undefeated in 16 out of 16 competitions out of all the guys on this list there's no other athlete who was undefeated throughout the year not grant holloway let's see the boho noah lyles except for you know rye benjamin but of course he didn't compete as much and mando duplantis he broke all those world records listen it's hard we might be getting numb to you know how consistent mando duplantis is you know becoming in the pole vault but for him to consistently break the world records unmatched but that's my top 10 mando duplantis coming in at number one grant holloway at number two let's see the boho coming in at number three and then all the rest of the guys down to top 10 as well as a few honorable mentions honestly for me this is a lot more challenging than it was on the women's side i think the men can definitely be interchanged in a lot of different directions right quincy hall could be higher up right you could switch in with like um you know rye benjamin rye benjamin because he didn't compete as much he could be a little bit lower but maybe matthew Hudson smith he had a really good season he could move up all these things definitely could be interchanged but go in the comments let me know who was your top athlete of 2024 who are your top 10 athletes let me see some of those lists right let me know what you think always appreciate y'all thanks for watching